Today we're working at Gap Beach, which is in Hat Head National Park. And it is a very beautiful beach. Lots of rainforest coming almost down to the uh, water here. In the 1950s, this was uh, bought, or leased, I think, um, by some people who decided they'd give it a go at farming. So they, they cleared quite a lot of this area. So this area in front of us here was, was once cleared. And I understand they grew bananas, pineapples, watermelons, pumpkins. And so it was reasonably good soil because uh, the soil has been washing out of the, the, the granite hills here. I think it was 1974 this got incorporated into Hat Head National Park. And since that time, there's been a lot of regeneration of both weeds and native plants. And so what we're doing here is trying to redress the balance, so getting rid of the weeds so that the natives can come in. And when we've got areas like this, this has been particularly hard to get uh, to regenerate. Some of these trees were planted back in the 80s, and they've done quite a good job, but there's some areas here which just never, never took off. And uh, some of these areas here are, are slow to regenerate and what we're doing is we've got a native grass understory but we're getting this cotton bush which is called gomphocarpus and gomphocarpus means it has a fruit or a, a fruiting body a bit like the cotton the cotton that we use commercially and so uh, we're both removing the plants and we're removing the pods and we'll take those out we'll leave the plants here to die but we'll take the pods out. And you'll, you'll see there's some of these orange monarch butterflies flying about, quite a lot today. They're feeding on the um, cotton bush and they're also laying eggs on there so that we'll end up with caterpillars of the monarch butterfly eating the cotton bush. And somebody said, well, you know, should we be doing that? Well, I understand the monarch butterfly is relatively a, a re recent arrival in Australia cotton bush is a weed which is slowing down the regeneration of the native forest and in the next valley just over the hill uh, we had a fire in 2013 and that fire stimulated the regrowth of huge quantities of cotton bush and uh, we didn't have the resources to to get on top of it so what we did is we left it there knowing that the plants themselves only last for about two years the cotton bush grew uh, prolifically, but also the native plants came up underneath and we were trying to get rainforest plants. So having a, having a cover we figured would probably be okay. And the other interesting thing that comes up after a fire and comes up here as well, is you get wild tobacco. Again, that's an exotic plant. And you, you, yes, it's a weed, but in this, but in this situation, we're quite happy to have it, or I'm quite happy to have it. Other people have a different view on this. But here you can see there's producing a lot of green seeds at the moment. They turn brown later on. And the native pigeons come in and they love eating that, native doves, native pigeons. They eat the seed of this. They also eat the seed of uh, the local rainforest plants. And then, you know, while they're eating, they're pooing out the seeds around here. So you'll get, yes, you'll get more um, wild tobacco, but you'll also get some native plant regeneration. And what we find in, in the valley over the hill here, where we had the fire in 2013, we got quite a lot of um, regeneration of the cotton bush, but we also got a lot of regeneration of the tobacco and what's happened, both of them are, are dying out. The cotton bush is probably 90% reduced in population just by natural um, conditions. As the native plants germinate and take over, the cotton bush can't germinate. And uh, so it just becomes a component of the, the vegetation rather than the dominant. And the wild tobacco took off it grows very quickly, provided a canopy, particularly in the valleys. And where that canopy developed, we started to get little native rainforest plants underneath. 
and they're now tall enough to survive in uh, higher light levels and more sun and the wild tobacco is dying out so where we had a, a, a you know very high density of these now they're just a minor component of the the vegetation and we're pretty happy with the result there so we will eventually go in there and start to hand weed out the remaining tobacco bush if they're stopping any of the native um, rainforest trees from regenerating so it's a complex thing where you sometimes use weeds to as a nurse crop to develop rainforest particularly um, so not all weeds are bad they're doing weeds come in because there's an opening if we didn't create the openings or we didn't disturb the system you you wouldn't get weeds but if they are there they're doing a good job at, at uh, controlling soil erosion as we had next door where the, the fire was um, particularly fierce and we just had bare ground everywhere so whatever grew was going to be a we, we figured was going to be a good thing and we'd deal with the ongoing weed problem as it as we could so uh, today we're removing uh, cotton bush and we're going to leave the tobacco here and hopefully that will encourage other native plants underneath and eventually we'll get a, a better native plant canopy here the area here which which is just a there's no obvious difference here except i remember when we first started working there was quite a lot of tobacco around here and quite a lot of these wattles had come up and so you just got a little bit of canopy and uh, we have weed underneath weeded underneath here uh, quite a few times but today we're not having to remove any cotton bush or the asclepias there's a little bit of moth vine which um, we've had the contractors come in and do a, a pretty big control and we'll just go through today and see if we can find any that have been missed and uh, this is now becoming quite stable and fairly resilient so you're not going to get a lot of the uh, weeds that require high light conditions to get back in here so the plants that the cotton bush growing out there likes lots of light can't do much here native plants have got the advantage so uh, they'll colonize under here and gradually move out as we remove the weeds they'll hopefully move out and uh, create a canopy what are you after magpie anything it can get it's very friendly yeah Fat, juicy caterpillars did it eat the caterpillars um i chucked over there and then off i turned around this way so um oh, excuse oh, me oh, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hey, not going to get the mid-slice. <laughs> <laughs> you can read. 